Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Newsland. Today we will unbox and discuss a fun and amazing board game called Photosynthesis. So let's get into it. Photosynthesis is a 2 to 4 player game published by Blue Orange Games. Thank you Blue Orange Games and Logical Toys for sending the game for review. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to take one of their two small tree and place it outside the ring of the board in turn order one by one till all players have placed their two small trees in the outer ring. Players have three areas, the player board where they will plant the seeds and grow their trees and the tree can go from seed to a small tree, from a small tree to a medium tree and from a medium tree to a large tree. The other area is the player board which is where you will buy trees or seeds and put them into the other area which is called the available area. You can plant seeds or upgrade your trees only from the available area. The player board also has light point tracker to keep track of how many light points you get and those are the points you can spend to do different actions. At the end of the game whoever has the most light points wins. At the beginning of each round the sun is going around to provide light. The sun is here then each round it will move to the next location going around the board. You have to take the round tokens to help you keep track of the complete sun rotations around the board. Once you complete four rounds the game is over and whoever has the most light points is the winner. If you are playing the advanced version then you should play four rounds otherwise you should remove the four round token from the game. Sun shoots light in the straight path and gives light points to the owner of the tree in sun's path. Small trees will get one light point, medium gets two and the large gets three light points. However, trees also cast shadows and light. Small trees cast one shadow, medium trees will cast two and the large tree will cast three shadows. Let me explain with an example. So when if you were scoring in this scenario, this tree is directly exposed to the sun so it will get one point. This tree is directly exposed to the sun so it will get two points. Even though this tree casts shadow for two locations, this is a large tree so it cannot cast a shadow, anything which is uh, larger to it. So this will also get three points. This tree will get one point this tree casts a shadow for up to three locations one two three this tree is the opponent players and is small which won't score any light points and then this player will get one light point for this tree if the tree placement was something like this this tree is directly exposed to the sun it will get three points this tree is in the shadow of this large tree so it won't get any points using your light points on your turn you can either plant a seed grow your tree from size provided you have that tree available in your playing area purchase seeds or purchase a tree from the player board or you can also chop a large tree to get equivalent points based on the location of the tree all actions and costs are indicated on the player board i will explain the chopping of the tree action as it gets the most points based on the location of the tree example if this tree was on this location showing three leaves I spend four light points and chop this off. The tree goes back to the player board if there is a space, otherwise it will be discarded for the game. Collect the equivalent point token in the case in our case three leaves. These tokens are arranged in the ascending order and group by number of leaves shown. So early you chop higher points token you will get. Final thoughts, this game is really fun and the fun is in decision making. When you have less points, how do you place your trees or how do you grow your trees in the right spots or do you block other players so that they get less points or you want to plant more seeds and spread your plant network or chop off trees before others chop so that you can get more points.
really enjoy this game and the gameplay changes based on what others do i love the fact that the game comes with this inserts in the box to store the components easily that way once you build the trees every time you want to start the game they are already there and they you just good to go and start playing the rules are very simple they're easy to teach and i love the artwork of this game just beautiful components this is definitely will be added to my collection highly recommended to get this one thanks for watching the video if you like the video please do like and share and please keep sending your review requests and i will try my best to do them thank you